This video is brought to you by Squarespace, an all-in-one platform for building your brand and growing your business online. A new comet has quietly entered the scene. Designated C2025 V1 Borisov, it was discovered a few days ago by Gennady Borisov, the same astronomer who found 2i Borisov, the second confirmed interstellar object ever observed. As of today, the object is classified as a long-period comet, not interstellar. Its preliminary orbit, published by the Minor Planet Center, shows an eccentricity slightly below 1, meaning it's bound to the Sun on a stretched, likely Oort cloud origin orbit. If it were interstellar, that value would be distinctly above 1. So current data indicate it's native to the solar system, though its trajectory will become clearer as new observations are added over time. Right now, Borisov lies almost directly between Earth and 3I Atlas. It's roughly 70 million kilometers away and brightening each night, but not by much, hovering near magnitude 13, just barely within reach of medium telescopes. Its orbit carries it below the ecliptic plane and then up across it, swinging toward the sun for a perihelion on November 16th at just under half an astronomical unit. Now, most images show only a compact coma, but no clear tail. That makes Borisov's behavior oddly reminiscent of 3I Atlas itself, which has once again puzzled astronomers for showing strong activity near the Sun, but no dramatic tail at all. After its close solar passage in late October, 3I Atlas endured intense solar storms and radiation. Normally, that's when a comet should flare spectacularly. However, New post-perihelion images show the object holding together, its brightness higher than models predicted, yet still lacking any visible dust tail. That has stirred plenty of speculation online, but scientists suggest several possibilities, such as a dust-poor composition, outgassing dominated by gases like carbon dioxide that are invisible in optical light, or simply a viewing angle that hides the tail from Earth's perspective. And upcoming observations from ESA's JUICE will help reveal what's truly happening on and around this interstellar visitor. Meanwhile, ground-based data were already hinting that something had shifted in its behavior. A few days before its closest approach to the Sun on October 29, 2025, scientists noted something remarkable. 3I Atlas brightened far more than any normal comet usually does, and there were hints it might even have been changing color. At the time, the Sun's far side was exploding with massive solar flares and coronal mass ejections. And 3I Atlas happened to pass directly through that stormy environment. And while those flares didn't knock it off course, they certainly gave scientists plenty of material to analyze. The real surprise came not from solar activity, but from the trajectory itself. After perihelion, when JPL recalculated its orbit, the data no longer fit perfectly under simple gravity. To explain the deviation, the team led by NASA navigation engineer David Farnokia added two new parameters to the model, A1 and A2. If you've never heard of those before, they're standard terms used to describe tiny, persistent accelerations that act on comets or asteroids due to non-gravitational effects. Things like jets of gas venting from the surface, or in extremely rare cases, other unknown forces. And in the case of 3I Atlas, both terms were now non-zero. According to Farnokia's latest fit, the object experienced a small push, around a few hundred kilometers per day squared, away from the sun, and a second, weaker push sideways along its orbit. That might sound huge, but in cosmic terms, it's minuscule, detectable only by precision orbit fitting. Still, that tiny shift means something is giving it a push. But before that, Let's quickly hear from today's sponsor, Squarespace, which offers the best tools for easy website design. With their AI-backed design intelligence, creating your unique digital identity is fun, effortless, and quick. Their website design system, called Fluid Engine, lets you customize every design detail with this extremely helpful drag-and-drop technology. Squarespace also has built-in analytics so that you can easily track who's coming across your new page. Check out squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, head to squarespace.com territory to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Now back to the topic. What exactly caused the non-gravitational acceleration in 3i Atlas? 
The obvious first explanation is outgassing. Sunlight heating the comet's icy surface and causing jets of vapor that gently nudge it. It's a normal, well-understood process. Most active comets show some level of non-gravitational acceleration because of this. So why this sudden fuss over 3i Atlas? Because of how much it brightened, how quickly it did so, and what color it turned while doing it. Shortly after the JPL update, a new analysis by Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb highlighted the curious case of non-gravitational acceleration in 3i Atlas. Loeb asks a simple question. What does this mean physically? If the acceleration came from natural outgassing, then by momentum conservation, the object would have to lose mass to provide that push, and we can estimate how much. Assuming a typical ejection speed of a few hundred meters per second, Loeb calculates that 3i Atlas would have a half-life of about six months. That's an enormous amount of material, enough to produce a vast glowing plume of gas and dust that should be clearly visible to spacecraft and telescopes throughout November and December. ESA's JUICE spacecraft, currently in a favorable position, could be the first to detect such a plume in early November. Later, on December 19, when 3i Atlas makes its closest approach to Earth, hundreds of ground-based telescopes, along with Hubble and the James Webb Space Telescope, will have their chance to look for it. If they see it shedding mass as predicted, that would strongly support the natural outgassing explanation. If they don't, then something else must be driving that motion. A team of researchers recently analyzed images of 3i Atlas taken in September and October by the Stereo A and GOES-19 observatories. The data showed its brightness rising far faster than normal, increasing about seven times more steeply with distance from the sun than a typical comet would. Around the same time, observers noted that 3i Atlas appeared bluer than the sun in images captured by solar coronagraphs, and that is truly unexpected. Most comets appear yellowish or reddish because sunlight scatters off dust grains in the coma rather than adding fresh color. A persistent blue shade typically hints at glowing gas emissions, not mere dust reflection. Loeb suggests two possibilities. The first is purely natural. Perhaps we're seeing emission from ionized carbon monoxide, which glows blue under solar ultraviolet radiation. The second is more speculative, that the object might contain some kind of internal power source or heat-producing mechanism. Loeb isn't claiming that's the case, only that the data shouldn't be dismissed simply because it challenges our expectations. But let's not get carried away with alien engine headlines before examining what we actually know. The JPL data does show a measurable non-gravitational acceleration. It's small, but it's there. Fermoki's analysis indicates it's not a fluke of measurement noise. However, the total deviation caused by that acceleration is tiny. Even if the push continued for an entire month, 3i Atlas would drift only tens of thousands of kilometers off its predicted path, not millions. That's nowhere near enough to bring it close to any planet, including ours. It remains on the same general trajectory, heading out toward Jupiter's orbit and beyond. There's no impact risk, no evasive maneuvers, no turning toward Earth. So yes, although it has been full of surprises since its discovery, 3i Atlas is behaving like a comet, just a rather unusual one. So as 3i Atlas drifts outward toward Jupiter, and Borisov sweeps inward for its first solar pass, both objects are giving us a rare laboratory to study the border between ordinary comets and interstellar visitors. What do you guys think? Comment below to let me know. And don't forget to subscribe to Territory, because this is your space.